We're all familiar with Pythagoras' theorem. The square of the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. A Pythagorean triplet, or Pythagorean triple, is a set of three whole numbers that satisfies Pythagoras' theorem. Let's find out more about these interesting trios of numbers. Examples of Pythagorean triplets include 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, and 7, 24, 25. These are also called primitive triplets because they have no common divisors. If the members of a primitive triplet are multiplied by the same integer, the result is a new but not primitive triplet. For example, 6, 8, 10, and 9, 12, 15 are Pythagorean triplets, but aren't primitive ones. In any primitive Pythagorean triplet, one and only one of the three numbers must be even, but can't equal two. The other two numbers are relatively prime, in other words, have no common divisor other than one. There are infinitely many such triplets, and they're easy to generate using a classic formula known since ancient times. If the numbers in the triplet are a, b, and c, then a equals n squared minus m squared, b equals 2mn, and c equals m squared plus n squared, where m and n are two integers, and m is less than n. Because the square root of 2 is irrational, there can't be any Pythagorean triplets A, A, C. However, there's an infinite number of triplets A, A plus 1, C. The first three of these, apart from the trivial 0, 1, 1, are 3, 4, 5, 20, 21, 29, and 119, 120, 169. There's also an infinite number of Pythagorean quartets, A, B, C, D, such that A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals D squared. This is simply the three-dimensional form of Pythagoras' theorem, and we can interpret it as the fact that the point in three dimensions with Cartesian coordinates A, B, C lies an integer distance D from the origin. A formula that generates Pythagorean quartets is a equals m squared, b equals 2mn, c equals 2n squared, and d equals m squared plus 2n squared, which equals a plus c. Also notice that b squared equals 2ac. When m equals 1 and n equals 1, we get the quartet 1, 2, 2, 3, the simplest example of a Pythagorean quartet. Although there's an infinite number of Pythagorean triplets, Fermat's last theorem, which is now known to be true, ensures that there are no triplets for higher powers. For example, there are no integer values a, b, c, such that a cubed plus b cubed equals c cubed. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.